Jeff, we got to see the, the two-point guard look with you and Shabazz um, last game. I know you, you liked going with two-point guards before. Uh, just with him, um, how do you think, how do you like the way it feels, the look of it? I don't think we played uh, enough minutes to really get a feel of it yet. I mean, I think he's on minutes restriction or whatever, but uh, it's all right. Uh, do you, have you guys gotten a chance much to run it much in practice or anything? Recently? Nah, not really. Um, that was kind of like our first time really playing together. Sure. Jeff, you guys are going on your first kind of longer road trip of the year. Last year, those weren't very successful for you guys. Do you, do you sense this team is in a different place to maybe handle it if a, if a road trip starts going a, a, a bad direction? Uh, I'm not even sure. Um, I think we like enjoy playing on the road, so. I think it's where we're comfortable, and it's a good, good test for us. What do you maybe, how do you maybe put your finger on why you've been so successful on the road, or maybe not as much at home? This uh, I don't know. Um, I guess it's like a pack mentality on the road. You know, you by yourself, and it's just only the group of guys on the floor with you and on the bench that that's rooting for you. I think we just kind of bond together. And I think at home we just kind of rely on the crowd and just kind of relax a little more. With, uh, we've seen in the NBA sometimes you know two point guard lineups work, sometimes they don't work. In your experience, what makes for what makes it so those lineups can be successful when they are? Uh, usually, you know, you kind of play through the two guards and they're like making plays for one another or making plays for the team, and they play kind of fast. Uh, you look at like Rondo and Avery Bradley when they used to do it, or you look at even uh, Colin Sexton and, and um, Garland and Cavs. They play pretty fast and loose, so. You watch those guys and kind of figure out how they do it. Kind of use your mismatches just to your advantage, I guess? Yeah, pretty much. Are you guys handling road trips differently at all, like maybe this year than you did last year, just about the way maybe like Ryan and everybody's going about things? Uh, nah, it's pretty similar. Um, nah, standard. You guys, are, you guys are kind of shooting around the last there are less formal shoot arounds this year. Do you, but do you still, are you still kind of one who maybe you still get to the gym or kind of what's your routine? don't have a, a shooter out. I, I still go because I like to hang out with JC and you know he goes him and Josh so yeah. my guy so I usually just go just to talk to them shoot around a little bit. Do you guys feel you can make it a, a statement with as many road games as you have this month? Eight of a, your next 11 are on the road. Do you guys feel you can make a statement on this road trip? Uh, it's always hard to win on the road but uh, we're just gonna try to be consistent in what we do and uh, Right now we're fighting for a chance to keep moving up, and so we got to figure out how to get wins. The road trip kicks off in Dallas. Facing Luka is obviously a huge, huge challenge. How would you guys say, what would your defensive approach would be, be to Luka? Mm, he was arguably probably the best player in the NBA right now. Um, so try to make him see a lot of bodies. Uh, I'm not really sure, man. It looks like no one can stop him right now, so hopefully we can just figure out a scheme and try to slow him down. Uh, he's a good shooter. Like I know he's, you know, it's just a mental thing. I mean, he's gonna start knocking them down, but he works hard, practices all day, probably shooting free throws right now as we speak. So uh, he's gonna start knocking them down.